Hey everyone, welcome to my new tutorial. Today I want to show you how you can make these simple animated clouds in Blender and we'll be using the volume object to achieve this result. And if you enjoy this tutorial, please leave that like, it will really help my channel to grow. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more like this in the future, please hit that subscribe and additionally bell button if you want to get notified when I release something new. And if you're new to the world of 3D and Blender, and you want to become a 3D illustrator, go and check out my courses that are carefully designed to teach you beginner and intermediate skills in quickest and most effective way. For example, with the new Ultimate 3D bundle, you can go from simple cubic designs all the way to full character illustration in a matter of weeks. So if you're interested, please go check out the link in the description. Now let's jump right into Empty Blender file and I won't delete anything here, the default cube will get a chance to shine again. So let's select the cube and we'll create the shape, the basic shape for our first cloud. So let's tab in and I will make it a little bit smaller by pressing S and now I'll press 3 for face select. Select the face on the side, press E to extrude and S to scale it down. Um, basically this shape can be whatever you want. You can even create multiple shapes for your cloud so you have more variation for your project. So for now I will create something like this. I think it'll be enough. Now I'll tab out and press Ctrl 2 to add the subdivision modifier. And additionally here in the modifiers tab I want to increase the levels of subdivision to 3. And now I will add a displace modifier and add a new texture. We'll be using this texture to displace the shape of our object and you can see after switching this texture to clouds we have something like this here and we can play with the size of the clouds texture and the higher you go the less granular the less turbulent the details are so I'm for now looking for something like this to define the general shape of the cloud I think there'll be enough and now you can of course play with the strength but I think it's good enough as it was so I will leave it like this and now since I'm only interested in the mesh I can just apply these modifiers and leave it like this. If you want to modify this later you can for example save a backup of your object. And now let's press shift A and let's add a new object and this time it will be volume empty. And here in the modifiers tab there are some modifiers for the volume object as well but right now we are interested into mesh to volume so let's select that and here in the object we'll pick the cloud mesh we can just rename the cube object to something like cloud mesh and for now if you don't have these options here you can enable disable filters right there and right now I will disable it and hide from viewport. And let's now select our volume object. And here you can see we have a voxel amount. That's basically the level of detail um, of the whole volume object. And the more you go, the more detailed it will be. But I like to use voxel size. That lets you basically decide on how small these voxels will be. And for me, it offers a little bit better control over the sizing. And for now, I will leave it at 0 0.1. Um, the lower you go, for example, 0.05. Um, the more demanding this will get on your computer. So if for some reason this starts to get choppy or something, you can always go higher number. So for now, let's stay 0.1. And now I will add another modifier here and that's volume displace. And basically that works the same way as with the mesh, but now we are displacing the volume object. So let's go to the texture settings, switch this to clouds texture. And just like before, we are able to modify the size and you can see in the viewport what it does and how turbulent the cloud looks when you change the size settings. And then when you're satisfied, you can go back to the modifiers tab and increase the strength. And I like to go really strong on the first iteration here, maybe something like two. Uh, because I really like um, the effect where the cloud is like third apart. And then, you know, you can always go back and play with the scale so it's not so dramatic something like this should work just fine and here we have our first cloud and this is perfectly okay to use when you for example need to use clouds for a background or for a sky or something distant if you need something for a close-up what i really like to do is to add one more level of complexity so let's go back to the modifiers tab and we'll add yet another volume displays with another cloud texture here and we'll go a little bit lower on the details here and you can see how this creates these finer details around the edges and of course we can play with the strength but i don't like to go too strong here because that will be like too shattered so something like this should be enough 
and then you know I'll probably just play with the scale here something like this and you will see the effect of the second modifier um, when you lower this voxel size number so for example if I go 0 0.05 you will see um, the different level of detail there and as I said before um, you can use this uh, for just render purposes so if your PC has a trouble handling this uh, you can just leave this at 0.1 and disable this second modifier you know play with the shapes and composition and everything you know animate your scene and then when you're finished and ready to render you can just enable it so we have our volumetry cloud already and I want to create you know a scene with more clouds around so let me unhide this cloud mesh and make it selectable now I will select the mesh, tap into the edit mode because this needs to be one object, press A to select all and now press shift D and just move it around like this to create more clouds. Now I'll press shift D once again to move on here and shift D again here. Now you can of course press R then Z to rotate it so you can different shapes and press G and shift Z to move it on X and Y plane so you know you can overlap these clouds and move them in a bunch of different ways and let me create one more right here make it smaller and rotate you can press R twice you know to create a different rotation and now if you need to select one of these you can just press L hovering over those and rotate it just like that and here I will rotate this as well so we have some variation and now maybe I'll create one more back here that's larger okay and now i will disable this hide it and you have your clouds here and basically we are finished with the cloud model so now it's time to animate and this will be very simple animation i won't attempt any perfect loop or something um, that's probably achievable only with geometry nodes modifier where you need to adjust the noise um, for the displacement so it repeats and stuff like that um, so for now this will be only simple A to B animation where we start at one point and move these clouds um, and the clouds themselves won't be moving will be just moving their texture mapping so let's press shift A and let's add an empty and we can just add plane axis and now we select the clouds and here in the first volume displacement we can switch the local mapping to object and now you are able to pick an object and you can choose empty so now if you select those empty axes press G then Y and move them around you can get a movement like this and I really like this effect um, basically the clouds are staying in place but it looks like they're you know changing their shape like the wind is moving through them and stuff like that so I really like that and it's really easy to animate you just press I and insert location keyframe and then for example if you need 120 frames animation you can go to frame 120 and press G then Y and move this a little bit like this press I and insert location now if you play back you have your moving clouds um, of course there's some acceleration easing in and out so you can just hover here over timeline press T and switch to linear and now the clouds will be moving at a constant pace and of course if this is too slow you can press G then Y move this a little bit further away and now press I and location again okay so um, that's for the animation and now I will set up some lighting because that's very important when you need to display your clouds how they are lighted and stuff so I'll press 0 on an ampad for a camera view and I will press N for a side panel and go into the view panel and enable camera to view so now if I rotate the viewport you can see I'm rotating the camera as well and zoom it out a little bit like that and of course you can right click and add this to your quick favorite so you can just press Q and disable and enable that option here as well and now let's go to the output settings and I will set this to something like 1600 to 1200 um, just like that and set this to 30 frames now let's go to the render settings and I will switch this to cycles enable GPU and some the noising I'll press Ctrl B to limit only for camera bounce and let's preview our clouds this looks quite nice so far so let's select those clouds and let's give them some material they have default volume material already but if you create a new one you will get this volume shader right here 
and for example you can change the color and I want to make them more bright just like this now I'll press shift A and add a light and I will choose a sunlight here and I'll increase the strength to something like 3 now I'll press period on numpad switch to 3D cursor press G then Z to move the sunlight up so I can easily rotate it press R X 30 degrees and RZ minus 45 degrees so we have the sunlight coming from the side um, but I think we can do more um, for the presentation of these clouds so I'll press shift A and let's add another light and this time it'll be area light and I'll press G then Z move it up and then RX and rotate it 45 degrees minus on the X axis and RZ 45 to rotate it 45 degrees on the Z axis and now increase the power to something really strong like 1500 and now you can just press G then Z twice to move it closer and further away basically depends on what you want to achieve with these clouds and if you want to add some ambience to them um, we can press shift D R Z and rotate this to the side maybe bring it more down and give this some like orange color or something and this really will um, give your clouds you know more interesting look uh, more texture and the details will pop up more ultimately I'm quite satisfied with this um, but I'd like to have some backdrop there so let me press shift a and add a plane move it quite down tap into the edit mode and I will switch back to the medium point here and you know just scale this up quite a lot so we can cover all the camera view and create a new material there we can increase the roughness on that plane and you know play with the color now so something like this and for example if you want to make this even more interesting you can add another light and this time it can be a point light that you can place beneath or within the clouds and play with the color there as well to create more you know interesting details more points of interest or something if you want to create the lighting or whatever that might be and of course as i said before now you can go to the modifiers on the cloud object and decrease that voxel size to 0.05 and enable that second displacement so you get more detailed out of this so that's it for the volumetric clouds in blender and their quick and simple animation i really hope you enjoyed this one if you did please leave a like it will really help me and again if you're new to the channel please hit that subscribe thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day